Howdy! Now that we have installed all the packages on our virtual machine, we're going to learn how to set up a remote desktop to access this virtual machine from our computer or from any other devices and get a gra graphical interface. So we already have a VNC server that is installed. So VNC server is already in here and we can run a VNC server that will allow us to access this VM from outside. Before you do that, you want to set up or uh, configure your firewall accordingly. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, go on the firewall configuration under our console. So here you have your firewall and what you can do is to create a firewall rule. So I'll open this in a separate tab and I'll show you what a firewall rule should look like because I already have one in here called VNC server. So you're going to create a firewall rule. You're going to give it a name. You can call it VNC. You can call it remote desktop. Doesn't matter. A description and then you're going to now set up the filtering in the upcoming sections so let's look at what your VNC server firewall rule should look like so here's what I have and you're going to replicate this as you're creating your firewall rule so give it a name so mine is VNC server you're going to set a priority. You can leave it by default. It will be set to uh, 1000. So you can just skip on this. The direction will be ingress. And then here we have targets. What the target allows us to do is to specify what VM is going to be uh, attached to this rule. And we're going to use a tag, a custom tag called VNC server. So all you have to do is type in the target tag area, VNC server, I'm gonna type that. And for the IP address branches, just type all zeros, zero, 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 slash zero. Okay, but you also have it here. You can just use the same IP as you see in here, zero, zero. It's really the same thing that you have whenever you're typing, you can just leave this as zero, 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 slash zero. So that allows you to accept any IP address, pretty much. Now, it is an important part on the protocols and ports. You're going to specify the protocols and the specific port. So we're using uh, TCP on port 5901. And this is the port that uh, VNC viewer uses so it allows your machine to listen to incoming traffic on these ports. So that's specific port 5901. You're going to check this and that's all. So recap, give it a name, give it a target tag, call it VNC server. And we're going to use this tag. So remember what your tag name is. Put the IP address zeros and then choose TCP port 5. 901 hit save so now we've got our filter our firewall rule created let's go back to the vm instance now and under our vm instance we're going to make sure that we have this tag that we just created in our firewall rule again the tag allows us to apply the rule to that specific vm instance so click on Ubuntu VM and go to edit and you can add or you can write the same tag in here. I'm going to search for tag on this page and here are the tags that I have in here, right? So I am going to add the tag VNC dash server as a network tag. So again, it allows me to match my target. So as I had in here, when I specified a target, I should have the same tag. So I already have it in my VNC server, my existing VNC server rule. So that is it. 
you now have a firewall rule that will allow you to access your VM using VNC Viewer. Okay. So we saved it. I think this is ready. The tag is now added. All right, so next we're going to install a few more utility programs. So you do a sudo apt get update and we're going to install a tight VNC server. So here sudo apt get install tight VNC server. And we also need to install the GNOME components for our virtual desktop. And again, you'll have all these instructions in the documentation. So we have this installed. And next, we're going to make a change to the VNC server configuration. So by default, we're listening to internal traffic, which is the local host. Uh, we want to be able to access this machine from the outside using the public IP address. So we'll make a quick fix, a quick hack into our VNC configuration that's located under Etsy. So Etsy slash VNC conf. Uh, so use a nano editor to modify that uh, file. It's a permanent change that allows you to, every time that you're running your VNC server, um, you will not have to specify whether it's local host or not. So we're just gonna write it down directly in our configuration. So VNC configuration, and then you want to search for the line that says local hosts. So by default, local host is set to yes. So we're going to change that to no. So where's the local host geometry? So all these are defaults, default uh, configurations on the size of your screen. So you don't need to change any of these, but in here, you could see uh, local host should be uh, local host should a tight VNC server only listen on local host or for incoming VNC connections. So we'll make a quick edit here and we're going to set local host in here to no. Set this to no, we're going to save. Okay, so we need to set this, we need to be pseudo to do this. So let's exit. So we're going to make this a pseudo nano and then let's see the NC configuration. And then we're going to set this to local hosts. No, there it is. So save our buffer yes and that's it so now we're going to reboot the sudo reboot so that's going to log out uh, our machine where our user our user will be logged out for a few seconds we're going to wait it says connection failed so that's normal you just wait for a couple couple seconds and then we're going to get back in Okay, now here we can click on retry. And now we're going to fire our VNC server. VNC server. And you can see it's requiring a password. So we can choose, choose your own password and you can write it down. Would you like to enter a view only password? Yes. Also enter a password.
Okay. So now we have our VNC server that is running. Well, that is set up and, and running. And now we'll do a quick test on our IP address. So netcat and I'll get my public IP address from here. Copy. This is 5901. And then I can I get a, a ping back and that tells me that we're actively listening on this external on this port on this external IP address which happens to be the IP address of my machine. Next you need to install the client on your computer. We're done from the server side now. Server is running on your Ubuntu machine. Now what you need to do is to move to your computer and you need to install a viewer, like a remote desktop application, right? That will allow you to connect to your computer. One of them is real VNC. So you can search online for your favorite one. We'll search for real VNC. It's free and you can download it. It's available on Windows, Mac, Linux, of course. And I already have mine that is installed in, on my computer, okay? So I'm going to open this right here. This is what the VNC viewer should look like when you install it. And in here, you have a field in which you can uh, enter an address and you can create an account also if you wanna keep track of your, your host's uh, records. So in here, I'm going to go and, uh, and copy again my IP address, right? Because again, if you look at your server, your server is running, right? And and and, and we're expecting traffic to come through this this I, 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 from to target this IP address on this port. So we'll copy the IP address, same IP address we know as a public IP address, and we'll put it in our VNC window here. And then you want to specify the port, which is port 5901. Hit enter. And then it tells you the connection to the VNC server it will not be encrypted. That's not a problem. Just hit continue. And then here, the same password that you just entered on your VNC server is the one that you're going to type here as well. Okay. So again, when you were uh, setting up your VNC server for the first time, it asks you for a password, right? You require a password to access your desktop and you enter the password. I hope you wrote it down because now is the time to enter it here. And I'm gonna set remember so I don't have to do it all the time. Hit okay and that's it. I am logged into my machine. Now I depend on your connection, you know, you might have a great experience using uh, your remote desktop. It all depends on your bandwidth, okay? Authentication required, you can hit cancel. That's not a requirement for now. Uh, and then this is it, you have access. You can go full screen. You have a, a uh, how do you call this, a, a GUI pretty much, right? You wanna access your applications. Here are your applications. You want to uh, uh, launch a browser you have access to Firefox is installed by default. So, so you can uh, uh, connect, use a browser, you can use a file system and pretty much everything that you want. So it's helpful whenever you're doing some experiments, uh, let's say using a web form or you just wanna use your graphical interface instead of uh, the plain old text terminal. You can also access your file systems from here directly. So in here are your files and you can see you have the exact same structure. And of course, the terminal. So I'm not sure why, but if you still want to use a terminal in the graphical interface, of course, you have access to it. You go back to the, the menu in here and then you can search for your terminal. 
the terminal in here. But I don't see why you will need you will do this because you already have a terminal, right, from SSH. So this is pretty much the same thing. You have your shell in here, the same as you had right here as well. All right, so that sums up uh, installation of VNC, setting up the server, making sure that you set local hosts to no, use your public IP address. In the next video, I'll show you if you have an iPad or a tablet, how you can also set up a terminal on a tablet that will allow you to access your VM remotely. Thank you.